and welcome to Vocals in the Key of D. Today we are going to do something a little bit different. So the last time we did a warm-up that you would do before your vocal, uh, before you, do, you go onto stage, before you do a gig, before you do worship or sing somewhere. Um, so that's a little bit of a warm-up. Today we're doing more of your technique in terms of um, how you can help your jaw um, you know get it warmed up a little bit we're also going to do vowels and we're going to do them on the piano as well so I hope this helps you today let's get started okay so as I said we are going to be doing something a little bit different so today we're going to warm up our mouth our jaw make sure that we're doing a great job and the first thing that we're going to do is um, called ya ya so it's a jaw stretch which is quite nice because it actually helps you to look to to stretch your door, jaw sorry to stretch your jaw nicely and this can be done at any point in time you don't have to warm up for anything this could possibly also be done before you actually do your initial warm up just to get the, the jaw line you know a little bit more flexible i'm going to do a little bit with you uh, so that you would understand how it actually is done so this is how you can do you're going to use the word ya but you have to make sure that your jaw goes right down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll even hear a little bit of a, like it sounds like plastic or something, but that's actually your joint. That's actually, you know, that we're busy extending there. So let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you can go and, you know, redo that one. I gave you a lot more time than I should have. But that's quite nice. It also helps very much with people who have problems with their jaws. So I had a problem with my jaw at one point in time. And that was the exercise that I actually did to help my jaw. So it's very good for warming up those little muscles on the side. And when you sing, you can actually sing nicely because your jaw is really supple the next item that we're going to do is trills so trills it's lip trills or tongue trills this you need to make sure that you can actually feel the vibration we did touched on this a little bit last last time but um this time we're going to just do it a little bit extra so that you can actually do it with me again you can go back on the video and actually do it a little bit a little bit longer but um i thought i'd do it with you so this is how you're going to do it Purr, purr, purr. So those are your tongue trills, and then your vibration ones is. Purr, purr, purr. So let's do the the tongue one first. So it's. Purr, 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 purr. So so that was your tongue trills. Now let's do the lip one. So those are quite nice those are subtle also helps with the warm-up so you can actually do that before your actual warm-up that you do um very supple uh, don't stress too much on anything literally it needs to be an easy easy exercise the next one we're going to do are vowels right so vowels make sure that you are pronouncing your vowels correctly so the vowels actually go like this so it's me you a uh, e eh, e that's your first set of vowels. So those are your normal vowels, not your round vowels, but we'll get to that. Let us do a little bit of those. And you can actually do it on, on your piano as well to try and get some, uh, some warm up going there as well. But let's just do this first. Me, you, a, uh, a, eh, e. Me, you, a, uh, a, eh, e. Me, you, uh, 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 eh, e. 
We're going to do it a little bit on the piano here. So I'm going to go up in my scales here. So, or notes rather. Let's go. So I'm starting always on the key of C because that is mostly everyone's real um, uh, middle range, very easy range, and then you can go up. So, mi, u, a, a, e. 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 Okay, we're going to stop there because it's getting a little bit too hard, but it's also nice because um, you get to switch from your um, upper range to your higher range, um, which is your falsetto, should I say, which is nice because that gives you that flexibility. The next one that we're going to do is your round vowels. And this is how your round vowels go without the piano first. Ma, o, u, o, a. 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 So remember to do the ma sounds like a ma sound. So it's ma, o, o. So maybe like your o, u, u like moon, o again, and then a again, ma. We're going to try it again with your piano. So let's go, key of C, let's go. Ma, o, u, o, a. 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 I'm not going to go any higher than that because um, I can feel myself getting a little bit. Um, but yes, you can also go lower and then higher, whichever you want to do. If you know how to do a piano, play a piano, you can always do that as well. So this is what we're going to do. For those that don't have a piano at home, we will do a little bit of something for you. You can look in the description for the chapter we created specifically for just the piano. If you would like to practice, it is below here in the description. Just click on that and off you go. Okay, so the tip of the week this week is obviously just make sure that you look at yourself in the mirror when doing the exercises with your mouth. It is really important for you to be able to see what you're doing to see if you're going wrong, all right? That is the one thing. The second thing is these are not for increasing your range. These are specifically to help you to pronounce words properly because we often pronounce words very differently when we sing depending on what language we are. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, but a lot of, you know, if you're a South African, if you're Australian, if you are English, when someone sings, it's actually very much the same accent. And that's why we need to make sure that we're saying the round vowels and the other vowels very correctly. So make sure that you do that and you'll be way, way on your way. Let's, uh, gonna, we're gonna end off now and we're going to do a little bit of the piano for you so that you are able to do this yourself. See you next week. So this you can use for any vocal warm up. We're starting on the key of C. We will work our way down, but please ensure that you stop when you feel comfortable and then you can work your way up again. Thank you.